Hi everyone, it's Deb with Everything Alpaca in Castle Rock, Colorado. We have a little something new that we want to start doing, provide a little inspiration for our crafters. Uh, this is going to, we're going to call this the pattern of the week, may become the pattern of the month. We'll see how well we can keep up. But uh, the idea is that we're going to try and provide some inspiration with, um, by showcasing some of our yarns for a specific pattern. So if there's yarn in here that you like and you want to do this pattern, we will buy the pattern for you. So this first one um, for this first go around is called the Rock It Tea and it's by Tannis Lavallee. The pattern sells for $7.50 and again, it will be free to you. We will purchase it on your behalf uh, with the purchase of yarn to do the project. So the Rock It Tea is a v-necked raglan shape sleeve lightweight summer top top i think it said it had about six inches of positive ease and it's a fingering weight striped with a lace weight mohair and instead of mohair we'll be using a brush siri alpaca which is our mohair substitute it doesn't have any itch to it it's super lightweight it's alpaca it has that silky alpaca feel to it and then we have some of our beautiful either cotton or alpaca blend yarns. So I'm going to show you first the schematics and the information here for your sizing, your gauge, and um, in the sizing uh, they'll give you the yardage for what you need based on the yarn they used. So you'll have to do the conversion for our yarns and I'll give you that information here in a minute. But if you need any help with converting the yarn, please give us a call at 303-660-6684, or you can email us at everythingalpacaco at gmail.com. So this is the schematic with some of the numbers for the different circumferences. Okay, so I'm just gonna run through, there's gonna be two parts for the yarn. So this is going to be part one. I'm just going to run through some of the yarn that we have pulled that we think would be great for this summer top. Um, we're going to feature our Marikita in this first part. Marikita is a lovely 50% alpaca, 50% tensile. Um, we have hand paint and we have solid color pastels in this yarn. And there is a price difference. So um, in the pastel, it is $21 in the hand paint it is um, $25 and it's 400 yards for either one. So that's the information you'll need for your conversion. Um, this first, well, let me go finish up with the yarns. So that what we've paired it with is either the Halo or the Halo Watercolor, which is the Brush Surrey Alpaca. The Watercolor, Halo Watercolor is the hand paint and Halo is the solid color in the brush Surrey. And then the other option that we're um, gonna pair some of these with is Whisper Lace from Fibra Natura. It is 70% wool, 30% silk, and a lace weight. It's absolutely beautiful, lightweight yarn. And it is a great price point. It's $10 for 440 yards. And just so you can see what that Whisper Lace looks like, um, I do have a project over here that we did as a knit along in the Whisper Lace. Um, so you can see that it has a little bit of a subtle stripe to it. Um, the purple, uh, obviously, is a solid color. And then we ran, between each of those short row sections, we ran um, a couple rows of solid purple. But the variegated is what the um, hand paint whisper lace knits out like. Okay. Um, in the Halo watercolor... It's 257 yards per skein, and it runs $14.50. And in the solid halo watercolor, or solid halo, so watercolor is the hand paint, the plain halo is the solid color. It's a generous 514 yards, and it runs $15 for a skein of this. Okay, so I'm just going to run through a few of these so you get an idea of some of these color combos that um, we thought would be, sorry about that, that we thought would be nice matches. 
So this is um, Rainforest in the Marikita. has a little bit of a grayish tone um, in this hand paint. And we paired it with a, a nice pop of color um, with this Halo watercolor in Atlantis. And that just really brightens this up. Um, and then this is Copper Pot. It's a beautiful hand paint Marikita. And that coppery color with some grayish tones. We paired it with Seascape in the halo watercolors that gives you kind of that patina look between the green the co green and the coppery color or we have a couple options in whisper lace that have that coppery color in it either in the blue bluish green tones or in this stunning um, green tone so either one of those would look just this is awesome if you like more bluish tones this is a very pretty combo or if you like that patina look so that has several options this is the pastel mint green they call it mint julep and it's a very very light green we paired it with a fibra natura that has kind of that same uh, bluish greeny mint green tone and then a little bit um, different color greens in this section so that would be a really pretty combo, very summery coloring. Um, no, that didn't go with that. Okay, this is a blue suede. Oh, this is the other one that I thought would look good with it. Sorry. Um, this is um, Da Vinci. So it has kind of that greenish pale green tone in it and then some blue tones in it. So that would be another pretty option um, to go with that mint julep color. Okay, this is Kitty Pool, and Kitty Pool is a real pretty, um, very light tealy green. I don't even know if I call it teal. I guess it has a little bit of teal tone with blue. And then we really pop the color here with uh, Mosaic, which is a halo water color. Or you could go with Fibra Natura um, in this color combo, which has that aqua kind of coloring with the green tones in it. Real pretty options there. Then we have a gray, a real pretty gray. These are the metal, one of the metallic colors of uh, Marikita. This happens to be carbonite. And then this is a new watercolor, a uh, halo watercolor called Kahlo, K -A or Kalo, K-A-H-L-O. It has some grayish tones in it that'll match up with this carbonite, but also this kind of raspberry purpley color. It's very, very pretty. Or if you want to stay all gray tones, we have um, a more tonal uh, hand paint in the Whisper Lace in grays. Then we have uh, Blue Suede Shoes, one of my favorites, kind of a bluish with some gray tin, uh, tones in it. And this is just really pretty. This Whisper Lace paired up with it looks really, really nice. That would be a very pretty cool looking summer top. And I mean like the cool colors and um, It'll be just stunning. Then we have a, the pastel purple, and we paired it with a real pop of color here with uh, Nebula, so that would really brighten that up. And then you have your, your pretty solid um, light pastel purple in that color. Um, another one that might go with this purpley is this gray. It has the pinky and gray tones in it along with the lavender that would look real nice. And then we have some a little more neutral colors here. This is uh, Lava Cake, one of our best-selling Marikita colors. And we have paired it with a Whisper Lace that has kind of gray tones with these more brownish tones that go well with that Lava Cake. Um, or you could pair it with the um, Platinum because of those gray tones in it. And we also have uh, Degas in the Halo watercolors that can go with either one of those. Either the gray tones here or the, the Lava Cake colors here. So either one of those yarns would be a nice option to go with those two for a more neutral tone. Then we have uh, our reds. This might be my favorite. <laughs> this is Candy Apple. And in Candy Apple, we have Whisper Lace um, in this reddish color. And also in this um, color with 
um, kind of a, a purpley tone. Or if you really want to pop the color, you can put in this uh, beautiful, bright, I think it's called, uh, yeah, it's called Vintage Pop. And that might be my favorite. That might be one I have to do. Then we have a more neutral tone here in mus Mushroom Bisque with this truffle that has some gray tones in it. It's a little more subtle, but very pretty. Um, we have some pastels up here, the pink and the uh, blue, and we paired it with either the Novu or the Picasso. And this one actually, Novu would go with either one of those. And then the Picasso looks really nice with that blue. And then we have some um, hand paints in the Marikita. And this one pairs nicely with the solid green in the halo. Uh, this is Atlantis. No, this is Nebula. It goes real nice with the purples. And this one is um, Carnival. Looks great with the blue. And then we have this peach tone with the white would look really pretty for summer. So that's what we have. And uh, if you're interested in any of these, give us a call. And we'll put a package together and buy the pattern for you. Thank you very much. Happy knitting.